Hey, Joe Gilder here. I want to show you two new features that we've added in version 6.1 to the mastering page, also known as the project page. Let's check it out. If you do a lot of mastering in Studio One like I do, you typically start from a blank project page like this, and you add in your plugin. So maybe a limiter on the main output. Usually I put an EQ on the main output with just a slight high pass just to catch any naughty low end frequencies. Uh, then maybe I'll have like on the output maybe a phase meter and a spectrum meter, uh, ones that I can kind of resize and position on screen exactly like how and where I want them. So that's all well and good, but that takes a little bit of time and you have to do that every time and remember what settings you use and all of that. Well, we now have templates available in the project page. We've had templates in the song page for a long time, uh, but now we've heard your request and we've added it here in the project page. So it works exactly the same way. Once you get your kind of core setup, for me, that's usually something simple like this with the settings that I want. Like I typically want about 60 B again here, ceiling of negative one, threshold negative one, B mode, true peak, probably slow there. Um, that feels about right to me. Maybe I want my meter here set to K14. I like this one set to FFT. All those little settings that I find myself clicking every time I open up a project page, I can now set all that up and have it baked in for me. Then you just come to save, uh, save as template. And we can call this our mastering schmastering <laughs> template. Say, okay. And now when we come to the start page in Studio One, go to the user tab, select our new template, hit okay. And now we're starting our mastering session with a bunch of things already in place. Another great update to the mastering workflow inside of the project page is under the digital release section, specifically having to do with target loudness. You'll now notice there is an album mode here. So when Studio One adjusts the loudness of your exported file to match whatever settings you choose here, in the past that was done on a song by song basis, which could cause some volume differences that maybe you didn't intend from one song to the next. When you click album mode, it now does this same process, but it listens to the entire album and adjusts the overall volume, maintaining those volume differences that you've worked so hard to put in to your mastering session. When I switched to Studio One over a decade ago, the project page was a big reason why. And now with these upgrades, it just keeps getting better and better. Happy mastering.